everybody, this is Praxis. Do you remember at the beginning of the series, way back when we started, we had kind of the fictitious pandemic that was supposed to add a little bit of spice to the whole series. Not that the series has been particularly spicy, it's mostly the nuts and bolts and nails and boards of actually building. We kind of stepped away from it for a while, and now we're back to a real pandemic going on. But if you remember back way at the beginning, the fictitious pandemic was supposed to culminate today, June 6th. 2020. Today's the day, and I think uh, hitting this landmark and having the house obviously not be done is a good uh, kind of reminder that things don't always work out the way that you had planned. When I had set the June 6, 2020 date uh, way back when, I was like, well, that, sh that should be fine. It's uh, you know plenty of time with plenty of padding, uh, but we've just had a lot of curveballs thrown at us. We've had, you know, people uh, getting sick, you know, major equipment failures. Uh, contractors not showing up, uh, contractors dying, family members dying, uh, flesh-eating disease, uh, you know, brain surgeries, and now, um, you know, an actual global pandemic sweeping across the planet that's, you know, slowed things down even more. So it's a, it's a good kind of stop and think kind of moment about, like, the reality of a lot of this stuff, that even the best laid plans don't always work out, and it's good to be able to to work from that position and be okay with that because that's just the reality of the world. You know, no matter how many things you plan for, no matter how many things you prepare for, you know, there's always that curveball and you have to be able to accept that and move on and not feel completely destroyed. Also, uh, it's important to keep in mind that, you know, sometimes things happen that you're not necessarily expecting. When we made the fictitious pandemic, I wasn't necessarily planning on an actual pandemic happening. I obviously it was on my radar. I have all the PPE gear already that was, you know, that was a great uh, thing to have been ready for, but it wasn't something that I was thinking, ah, 2020, that's the year that we're going to have a global pandemic. Uh, I know a lot of people, they have kind of a, a picture in their mind of what would happen, uh, you know, in a SHGF situation, uh, you know, uh, things all go wrong. They have kind of like a, an idea of what that arc is going to look like. And again, you have to be ready for that arc not to be the arc that you're expecting, uh, you know, if you want to survive and thrive under any sorts of conditions. So I just wanted to mention that June 6th, we didn't make the goal, but if we absolutely had to move into this house, there's a lot of things going for this house. It's uh, thermally insulated, it sheds rain, uh, it, it's comfortable. We don't have the wood stove, that's a little bit of a problem. The water's not running, that's a little bit of a problem. We do have electrical uh, you know, accessibility and we have our solar panels. So we could kind of make do if we had to make a stand here, but I'm glad that we have more time. I wanted to talk a little bit about what we've been working on uh, past day or so. I've been boxing in this closet. It's gonna be kind of a coat closet. You can come in from the front door. There'll be a closet under the stairs too, but this is kind of like a main coat closet. Some of the features that I'm thinking about building into this is we have uh, ventilation systems kind of uh, working the house. I think I may blow some air, some of the fresh air into this closet, which will help, like if you put up coats and they're a little damp, it'll help dry them out. It'll just keep things fresher in there. That's one thing that I'm planning on doing in, in this closet. Up at the top of the closet, I'm planning on putting the gray water holding tank back up in that corner there. It'll grab the gray water from up above. You can see the black pipes here, the drain pipes. They all go down in that direction, they tie together, I'm going to zip them right back and put the gray water tank over here. Another little feature I created right here, you may be noticing this, what was that all about? Well, when you open the door, the door handle sticks out and I made a little pocket for the door handle to go into. So instead of the door having to stop there, you can open up the door just a little bit more. Doesn't make a huge, uh, huge amount of difference, but I think especially given that that's a greenhouse, and we may leave this door open, you know, quite frequently because it's not, you know, it's not the actual outside out there. It's like an extended part of the house. This may end up wanting to be open a lot, and having it, you know, just that little bit of extra kind of open area to walk through, I think is cool. And also, it's just a neat little conversation piece, having a pocket right in there. So that's what I've been working on. We're getting close on the solar hot water. They're supposed to be coming in a couple of days to start installing the solar hot water out there. Uh, they were supposed to show up, then they couldn't show up, and now they said, hey, you know, actually everything opened up and now we can show up. So uh, I'm glad that I was prepared for that. And that was kind of part of what I wanted to be ready. They were saying they didn't know if they could make it, uh, but I just kept going and going, so I'd be ready if this happened and this happened, where they suddenly were available and were able to take advantage of it. We also have the electrician uh, starting to come in and uh, you know take care of some of our electrical issues and everything. So things are continuing to move. Do I wish that we were in the house already? Yes, but we're not. But every day, just ask yourself, what's the best thing I can do to get to that goal? And right now, it's finishing up this closet. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.